Hi, Cougar families. It's Mrs. K. It's been a long time since I've done a video for you. Um, and it's just a signal of how fast the year can go. Um, but I did want to take a few minutes today. I want to tell you a little bit about um, the money situation. <laughs> um, and the reason is that our kids will tell us, and sometimes parents too, education is paid for. Why does the school need to ask us for money? So I would appreciate you're just having a quick listen. What I want to describe to you um, is how schools find themselves in situations where at times they are looking for student raised funds, what that means, how they're used, and what our ask is here in Centerville um, for the next six and a half weeks of school as we bring closure to this year. So in a nutshell, um, it, much like your own family budget, there are times when you think, wow, it just doesn't go as far as we would like it to, schools face that every day. Um, so through our taxes, uh, money is diverted to schools, I am provided as the principal with a budget, um, and there are specific things that are intended to be paid for with those monies. A lot of those monies are about instructional materials, books, paper, um, internet subscriptions, um, tools, things that we use to make things in class, um, all those instructional needs. And then there are also some other categories of various types and descriptions of expenses that we just know are going to happen in schools. And much like my family budget feels right now, oftentimes there doesn't feel like there's a lot of room for extras. So there's another whole category of monies um, for which schools are responsible. And we put it under the large umbrella called student raised funds. And student raised funds are basically all the monies that come into the school, not through the province, but in other ways, and primarily from our school communities, be it donations, um, be it fees that students pay, including, for example, a student fee or user fees, um, and through fundraising. So those are the three largest um, pieces of what are called student raised funds. And when we get to this time of the year, we're really looking at what are those numbers left in our student raised funds, because many of the things that we associate with end of year really are the extras. Um, and so the monies that we find in our student raised funds categories are what allow us to have field trips, celebrations, um, and some extra fun things that many of the kids associate with end of year you know what this year has been. And so we're really trying to capitalize on bringing a great end to the year. We know that for the last couple of years, how we've been able to finish has been a little bit muted. So we're really excited to be able to have the types of end of year activities that really allow us to celebrate, share time and space together and do some extra fun things. And that takes money. So I have worked really, really, really hard this year with all the uncertainty and school stopping and starting all the time. I have really tried to, to downplay the ask of families, can you send us the money? Um, and I think you, you can recognize this in that when we've sent kids um, on field trips this year, we haven't asked for a user fee. So a user fee is when we say, hey, we want to take our kids to the Medoxna Keg Trail. Could every um, family send in $2 to cover the cost of that trip, that visit, whether it be at the transportation piece or um, a fee that we pay. We just sent all our K to twos to the Playhouse, um, thanks to a very generous sponsorship and my squeezing some money from a little tiny transportation budget that I have um, and a little bit of our student raised funds. You know, we were able to offer that opportunity without asking, hey, K to two families, would everybody please send in $3 to help with the cost of that? Um, at the middle level, we have tried to offer as many of the sports as we can. Come play basketball, come play volleyball, come play badminton, come join the running club. And we haven't said, but to play, you have to pay this much money. So I've really worked hard to minimize the ask of money. And where we are now is that the monies that were paid through student fees, um, which is in all schools, we have student fees at the beginning of the year. Those are normally paid at the beginning of year. Um, and we would have communicated to you as a school what those monies are used for. That pot is now very small. Um, and we are in a position that what we have planned for end of year, that doesn't cover. So we need to have some more money coming in. Um, and that is why I am now going to tell you about our school fundraiser. I'll give you a few details about that and there'll be more information coming home to support that. To minimize, you know, with only six to seven weeks left of school saying we need money for this, we need money for that, we need money for this. That's what I'm still trying to work hard to not create. So I'm going to tell you this, 
if we do a fantastic job of this fundraiser, which I truly believe we can, then I'm only going to come to families with three more asks. Would you please really participate in our school fundraiser. And I think once I give you the details, you'll understand it's something that families can do. Um, would you please consider having your child share information about the Jump Rope for Heart? Because we've done that annually. It's been a really important thing at the school. Some of your children um, came home today, which is Thursday, May 12th, with that information and some are coming home tomorrow. That's just been an annual event here that many of you already sponsor. And then the third one is a continuation of initiative that we did here in Centerville last year in support of the Ronald McDonald House Charities, where the monies that we raised went directly um, and turned into across our Carleton North communities. It turned into over $20,000 donation, which is fabulous, um, to Ronald McDonald House Charities, which is a, a charity that needs our supports and our families, um, my own included, do benefit from. So those are the three asks of money. And what I'm trying to work really hard is that I don't have to go to the fourth, which is in order to have this year end activity, every child needs to bring in $2 or we'd love for your child to get on the bus and go here. So can you send in? If we do a bang up job on this fundraiser, then we don't need that, right? So what am I talking about? Simple fundraiser, bags of beef jerky. The kids told us, we eat it, it's part of our family, or I know someone who eats that. It's something we like. Um, and then I joked with them today, this is not beef jerky, I'll make it in the cafeteria. So I have set up with an organization who is going to provide us with the 80 gram bags of the Jack Lynx beef jerky in four flavors. Super simple, one size, pick your flavor, one price. Um, and if we as a school community sell 800 bags of beef jerky, then I truly believe that will give us the funding we need to fully fund those end of year activities that we have planned so that you buy or help others buy beef jerky. Maybe your family chooses to support the Jump Rope for Heart. Maybe um, your child brings in a little donation on PJ Day for Ronald McDonald House, and then hopefully we won't need this extra bring in this or that. That's the plan. So um, that would allow us to um, provide these end of year activities, celebrate together, um, and minimize as much as possible that user V status. That is in a nutshell what I wanted to tell you about um, how the monies are raised, where they come from, and why we're asking for you at this time. So the beef jerky fundraiser, going to send an order farm home with every student, hopefully tomorrow, Friday, May 13th, we're going to ask um, that either you as a family purchase, maybe reach out to aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents, neighbors. Um, children are not expected to sell door to door. In fact, K to five, they are not permitted to sell door to door, um, but certainly picking up the phone or reaching out to friends they know um, under your supervision, that's for you as a family to figure out. Do we want to support the fundraiser by buying um, some bags of beef jerky for ourselves, or do we want to reach out and have people support us? We will have some incentives. Um, there will be a prize for the class at each level with the greatest per capita sales, so it's all fair. Um, so there'll be uh, one of the K to two classes will win an ice cream party, one of the three to five classes will win an ice cream party, one of the six to eight classes will win an ice cream party. And uh, yet to be determined is the individual incentive what the prize will be for the top salesperson in each class. So hopefully that'll get them um, out and selling um, 800 bags of beef jerky. This is totally doable. Um, that should raise the $2,500 that um, based on our predictions will allow us to offer those end of year activities. And as I'm always required to do, I'm gonna be very open and say, should we sell more, which would be fantastic, um, then any monies above $2,500 that are raised, um, we will divert back to student council um, fund, it, which is where um, decisions can be made about where to divert that. And traditionally that is, this money will go um, to support this student activity. This money will be used so that students can benefit from this. This can be used. And just to give you some examples, um, some of the student council funding, uh, student council monies this year, we, um, you know, we're purchasing sand toys um, for a K to two kids. We have um, paid refs 
um, in our middle school sports. We, the three to fives have um, had some additional playground equipment. Um, th those are just off the top of my head, but there's lots of things that we do to support student activity and opportunity um, with those student raised funds here at the school. So if for whatever reason we exceed our goal, which would be fantastic, it just means less fundraising and fewer user fees going forward. As always, please don't hesitate to give me a call um, or an email is even better because I'm usually not sitting here at the other end of the phone. Uh, fundraiser information will come home. We will sell from May 13th to May 27th. All these forms come in. That allows me to place the bulk order. Um, and then we expect that that would arrive the week of June 13th so that every student would go back with their order form and share the beef jerky um, with those that had ordered through them. Thanks so much for listening. We appreciate your support as always, my soul. It's beautiful out. It's so nice to know that the, the good weather is here. Lots of learning still happening. Students still need to be, you know, working towards those learning targets, but all kinds of wonderful things happening, um, learning in all kinds of interesting and wonderful ways. And we thank you for that ongoing support that you provide and send us your wonderful kiddos every day. Take care, everyone.